alla samman. Jag hoppas alla har en god natt sömn eh, och att det inte blev allt för sent med dansing i Gather Town igår. Good morning everybody. I hope you all had a good night's sleep and that you didn't stay up too late in Gather Town dancing. Um, med med uh, projektgruppen vill tacka för väldigt många spännande workshops igår. Det var svårt intressant att sitta och följa med på intressant innehåll och engagerad deltagelse. Uh, we in the project group would like to thank you for all the interesting workshops yesterday. It was really interesting to try to catch a little of all the discussions with uh, lots of engagement and interesting topics. Um, we are looking forward to um, paying attention today as well um, in the workshops and in the open space forum. Vi ser fram till att följa med i dag på på påverkningstorget och på workshops senare i dag. Men först lite praktisk information. Um, det var här var väldigt bra eh, deltagelse så långt på, på workshops. Vi manglar en god del eh, signups för eh, för söndag som vi hoppas att de som inte har registrerat sig för workshops söndag kan gå in och göra det i löp av dagen. Det var några små ändringar. Det finner du också i i programmet. Men bland annat workshop om fundraising har måste gå ut. och så har workshop om covid-19 blivit lite förkortad och flyttat. Så det är er de största ändringarna så nu är er det möjligt att få med sig eh flera ting på på söndag. We had a few changes to the workshops. Um, the fundraising workshop uh, has unfortunately been cancelled and we had a move of the COVID-19 workshop. So uh, please sign up. Uh, we have had great participation so far, uh, but we want to keep it that way uh, on Sunday as well. So if you haven't signed up for anything on Sunday, just make another sign up. That should be working fine. Um, we will try to make all the presentations from the workshops available. Vi kommer att pröva och göra tillgängliga workshops från alla ursäkt presentationer från alla workshops. Så en liten uppfordring. Ta delegationsbilder och sänd dem till nsk21@scout.no. A little uh, recommendation, please uh, please take delegation pictures and send them to nsk21@scout.no. Um, if you are not located together then make a small uh, uh, call together and uh, have the have the pictures from the from the meeting. Hvis du inte sitter samlad så lag en liten Google Meet eller liknande och ta bilder av av skärmen. Ikväll så är er det Nordic Race. Ehm um, där vill man bara minna om att uppmötet uh, det är er lite för klockan 20.00 vid Leirbåle i Gather Town. Uh, og klokka 13 så vil det være et forberedelsesmøte for alle koordinatorene for dette i Nugatti. For the Nordic race, there will, you will have to meet up a little before uh, 8 o'clock this evening, uh, Norwegian time, um, by the campfire in Gather Town. And there will be a preparation meeting for the coordinators uh, at 1 o'clock. And then just some short announcements for the presidium meeting. Uh, you have to register the persons for the writing group. Um, we will make a form where you can register your delegates. And we remind you that the deadline for changes is at uh, 7 tonight. Kort om presidiemøte. Vi trenger innmelding av personer til redaktionskomiteen. Vi vil lage et schema hvor delegater til presidiemøte kan meldes inn. Um, og hvis dere har endringsforslag, så må de meldes inn innen kl. 7 i kveld. Då kan vi gå till dagens morgonsamling och sätta ordet över till Birdy, eh, vice spelarchef i Norges spelförbund. Birdy, varsågod. Thank you, Knut. Good morning, uh, Nordic friends. Um, I should uh, really, I wish you were all here, but uh, this is uh, second best thing, I think. For today's morning reflection, I'd like to share a little story from a meeting between associations that I experienced a few years ago, just before COVID-19. Um, that was the fall of uh, 2019 that Norway hosted 
a gathering for the Overture Diversity Network, which is a European network for diverse, uh, diversion and inclusion in scouting. And the chief and I went to um, this um, gathering to represent and spend an evening. Um, we arrived, we held a formal speech and did that stuff the chiefs and deputies do when they represent. And um, afterwards, uh, we just hang around a bit to talk to the staff. And uh, suddenly, one of the participants from the Finnish delegation approached me. Uh, and she seemed very strict to me, almost angry and very decisive. Uh, and she said, you, are you the vice president, uh, the vice ch chair? And I said, well, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, this person wants to talk to you. My One of my uh, people in my delegation wants to talk to you. You have to come over. <laughs> so I was a bit uh, unsure, a bit, a bit insecure. Not the why, why wouldn't this guy approach me himself? What happened? So I followed the girl to the back of the room um, to meet this guy and his delegation. And I very soon realized there'll be his reason why he hadn't approached me himself. Um, he was stuck in, in a wheelchair in the back of a room that was quite narrow and full of obstacles and people. Mm. And I joined him and his delegation and my worry was so fast turned to shame. It was such a nice meeting. Um, and I thought that sometimes language differences and cultural differences can make strange impressions on us even in between the Nordic countries and talking this uh, Scandinavian language that really <laughs> can be a bit strange sometimes. So we ended up having the best conversation for uh, more than an hour about, uh, all of the evening about Finnish experiences of growth and their experiences of their network for inclusion and diversity. Um, and I, when I left there, I was so on fire, uh, so inspired. And I didn't expect that for this evening. Um, and it was such an unexpected and sort of free experience to learn all that. And that winter, we, um, uh, in my association, we founded our own network for diversity and inclusion, very much inspired by the Finnish model that I learned about that night that I didn't really expect to learn anything other than represent. So um, I just wanted to talk to you or to tell you this story, um, to challenge you uh, when we are here now, um, be open, be inspired and take advantage of learning about other uh, countries and other associations success and failures uh, and copy each other because we've done so much great things all together we should uh, should really listen more to each other so yesterday was a very intense day of impressions uh, from all of you for me uh, I already take some with me some uh, several new ideas for my association to be inspired by and I hope you to do that and I wish you all an inspiring and useful day and spend it well. So thank you. Tusen tack, Birdie. Neste punkt på programmet er en keynote speak. Um, dagens uh, taler er Silja Markula. Silja er, har vært tillitsvalgt i European Youth Forum i seks år, og har nylig startet i verbet som president for uh, European Youth Forum. Hun har tidligere vært styrmedlem og koordinator i ekspertgrupper for unges rettigheter. Um, andre ting å nevne, hun har sådd i det finske ungdomsrådet Alliansi i fem år som president eh, for komité for internasjonale relasjoner og jobber som koordinator for ungdommens nordiske råd Nordic Youth Council. Um, men viktigast av alt, Silja er speider og mange av oss kjenner hun fra tidligere konferanser. Um, today's keynote speaker is Silja Markula. Uh, she has recently been elected uh, as president for the European Youth Forum, uh, where she has been a board member for a, 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 several years and a co coordinator on the expert group on, on youth rights. She's been the president and vice president uh, of, uh, of the International Relations Committee of Alliansi, the Finnish Youth Council, for five years, and she works in the Nordic Youth Council. But most importantly, she is a scout and many of us know her from previous conferences. Um, she will be uh, giving us a speech, and uh, if you have questions,
please use the chat in Gather uh, to, uh, to give them, and then we will present them afterwards. Silja, vær så god. Tack. Och god morgon alla som är här. Good morning. Ten years ago, I took part at my very first Nordic Scout conference. Um, and I can tell you, I had practiced for weeks by watching uh, Brun and some other series, both from Denmark, some from Norway, um, anything that I could find really, uh, so that I could at least eavesdrop on the Danes a little um, and hopefully understand some something of the program. Um, and I ended up translating uh, half of the plenary sessions for the other Finns in my delegation uh, with my back then very lacking skills of, uh, of Scandinavian. Uh, it was some keynote speeches just like this one. Um, and uh, back then I could not have imagined that I will be giving one of them uh, in my lifetime. Now, 10 years later, I'm an honorary uh, Danish uh, scout. Um, I earn a living through Nordic cooperation. I create a better world uh, through international cooperation at an uh, EU level, Council of Europe level, at the UN level. And I'm the president of the largest platform of youth organizations in the world, namely the European Youth Forum. And I'm very happy to say uh, that my journey started here from Nordic Cooperation at the Nordic Scout Conference and with some of you guys uh, who are still around. It's a great pleasure being here today um, and reflect a bit on my own journey. And uh, while I don't want this to be only anecdotal, I think a part of what I've learned in this journey of international cooperation is that Nordic Cooperation is at its best when it also becomes a little personal. And that's with all international cooperation. When, when you see something happening in the world and the first thing you think of is, are my friends okay, gotta call them. Or when something silly happens in, in my own and so uh, the first thing I wanna do is, is to share with some of my, my friends from another uh, scout uh, organization. Uh, now in the vision for the Nordic uh, scout cooperation, we want association to, to meet association, to exchange experiences uh, between associations from different Nordic countries in the areas where it's relevant to discuss questions of common interest, whatever these areas uh, would mean to each of us. Now, when Forbund meets COPS, when association meets association, when what people often forget is that uh, in essence, it's about in, an individual person meeting another individual person. And Maybe getting, maybe getting something out of it. As we heard just this morning uh, from the Norwegian example of those unexpected encounters that, uh, that you can't really plan. It, it's just something that occurs. Um, we try to be strategic about it. We have chief scouts meeting with other chief scouts, learning from probably quite some similar, similar ex challenges and experiences of how others uh, are, are working in their environments with, uh, with similar uh, similar things. We have ICs meeting with ICs, we have program people meeting with program people, and then we hope something comes out of it. But it's not just those meetings um, and encounters. It can be more than that. It can also be about uh, consciously doing things together, um, be it scout camps, campaigns, developing uh, the scout program together, or uh, coming up with new approaches to growth uh, across our different associations. Now, I'm here to talk about the value of Nordic cooperation. And with all my love towards all of you, I look forward to the day when I don't need to do that. Not in the sense of uh, stopping to do it, uh, but in the sense of not having to justify it. Uh, and in the sense of not having to justify the value of it. When I look forward to it becoming a non-question. International cooperation, it's very often seen as uh, an add-on, something that ICs have to continuously justify to their own member uh, members by providing proof of the added value to, to the NSO or even to local scout groups. Uh, it's that international level that you have to bring to your organization. And uh, we can see the same tendency in 
say any other NGO uh, out there. It's not just a scout thing. It's it's a very um, it's a very common sort of uh, how do you bring this external to to the internal? How do you uh, bring something from somewhere else uh, to you, and then then it, it kind of becomes this extra thing. Um, it is the extra that that provides international scout camps to those who can afford it on top of the normal scout experience and then it magically connects us to uh, the global movement that we are as guides and scouts now don't take me wrong i i do want every scout to have an international experience just like like i have grown uh, through it uh, but i do look forward to the day when that is part of the obvious in our global movement, uh, not only for us who are here, who are probably more of the, the convinced ones, but also for those whom we, uh, we represent. When I recall the vision of the, for the Nordic uh, Scout Cooperation, Spider Murder Scout, Forbund Murder Cops, Scout und Murder Samfun, for me it's all about the same thing. Uh, it's about scouts being scouts and making that possible for others. It's about us being human beings to one another not only focusing on what's happening in our own associations, um, but also being curious about what's happening elsewhere, uh, be it other NSOs or society at large. It's about supporting one another as human beings, as associations and as citizens. We live in a world of ad hoc participation and ad hoc social movements where it's a quick uh, click of a button uh, sharing a picture uh, and now congratulations, you have changed the world for the better. Scouting has a different approach. Uh, we build communities, we care about the people around us, we empower them to take the lead, to become active citizens, to care about the other people around them. We build cohesion in a society which is strongly polarized. Uh, when we put that scarf on, we're all equal regardless of our beliefs or ideologies. And that has value in a society where people tend to keep to their, to their own. Scouting it represents a shared set of values independent of political beliefs. It's centered around human rights and empowerment. And scouting empowers everyone, but especially scouts who can get confidence and get out of their shells and talk to other people and maybe bring them along as well. And I know that you know all, all this already, but sometimes it's worth a reminder. There is value in the type of organization that we are. It gets people to engage in a sustained, a committed way where you depend on each other, you do things together. It's not just flash activism, going to a protest, sharing on something on social media. It's a community where you grow, you plan together, and you do that for years. There's value in that, and it's something to fight for. And do believe me, it can be a fight. I personally, I look at Europe from uh, the perspective of a platform of youth organizations, uh, the European Youth Forum. And um, when something is burning somewhere in Europe, when youth organizations somewhere in Europe are facing challenges, I do tend to hear about that rather quickly. So um, let me bring you an example uh, where civil society and civic space cannot be taken for granted and where international cooperation has brought added value. Uh, I'm bringing you 870 kilometers from where I am right now. Now, as the youth forum, we have members all across Europe, from Iceland to Malta, from Portugal to Azerbaijan. And last autumn, we witnessed the presidential elections in Belarus, uh, where the same old man, uh, old man cheated his way through yet another election uh, and continues as uh, the president of his country and the people of Belarus, they had enough. This time, uh, out of all the elections, this was the, the last drop for many of them. And uh, they took to the streets in a way they never had before uh, to protest, uh, just like you think they have the right to. But now, they were faced with brutal police violence, arbitrary arrests by the thousands. Among those people, uh, you have people like us uh, who are actively engaged uh, in an organization, trying to empower other people around them uh, and create a better world. And while it is a democratic fight uh, of the people in Belarus, what we did was uh, uh, at the time we, uh, 
simply reached out to our friends that we knew in the country. We checked out on them, made, up, made ourselves available to them uh, for them to talk to if they wanted to. Um, and being someone external to talk to when the world around you is in chaos, um, there is quite some strength to that. Um, simply being for them, making noise for them when they couldn't, uh, that meant the world uh, for our friends. Um, we arranged them uh, couch couches to sleep on in the cases where they uh, should they want or need to flee their country, and some of them them had to. Um, some of my friends were were gone from their own country for several months simply because of uh, being persecuted. Uh, their families were threatened, um, and this because they were uh, involved in an organization um, and uh, and involved in protests in the streets. Their fight is not over and uh, probably it won't be in a long while. Um, it is a dire situation that they're facing in their country, but it is something that is happening only a few hundred kilometers away uh, from where I live. It's a longer road to Copenhagen than, than to Minsk, actually. Um, my point is there's always something you can give to others. It's uh, even in the most dire situations. Sometimes we, we think too big. Maybe we can't stop the violence that is uh, happening in, in Belarus, but we can be scouts to the people who are there. We, uh, that matters more than, more than you think uh, it does. Um, the fight for civic space in the Nordics, it looks quite different. We don't have to worry about ununiformed people uh, from the police officers. Uh, we don't have to worry about them marching in through our doors in the middle of the night uh, to arrest us just because we are scouts. Uh, but we do have forces in our societies that do call for looking inwards, only focusing on and prioritizing our own nations or, or people and putting that in front of everything else. We, as the scouting movement, we are a counter force to that. And we make people see further, we build bridges, we build communities, we bring people together, not because it's an extra thing to do, but because it's who we are. We are a global movement. We care about one another. We reach out when there is a need. So why is Nordic scouting cooperation important? That's how you change the world. So for me, as I said, uh, 10 years ago, I never thought I would be here speaking to all of you, but uh, I do believe I have some friends in the audience and I hope uh, also to spend a moment discussing with you. So whether we have met before or whether we haven't, I'm happy to hear your thoughts as well um, of our Nordic societies, of, uh, of the civic space that we are, we're facing, uh, of the value of Nordic cooperation, if you want. Um, but uh, but I'm happy to hear from your side as well. If you have any questions or remarks, uh, I shall be handing over to you and uh, and hear your thoughts. Thank you. Tusen tack, Silja. Tack för väldigt inspirerande ord. Som jag nämnde tidigare, så så här med sitt väldigt mycket inspirerande erfarenhetsutvecklingar genom workshops igår. Um, vi hade omtrent 20 workshops och med som sitter och ser på alla. Vi ser att uh, det är väldigt mycket spännande meningsutvecklingar som går mellan de nordiska länderna. Så jag tror att många i denna settingen, visst inte alla redan känner på den eh uh, värdien uh, av det nordiska samarbetet, så så lär de den på en nordisk konferens. Thank you for very, very inspiring words. As I mentioned earlier, uh, when, when we saw the workshops yesterday, um, we could see lots of inspiring uh, exchanges of experiences. And we can see that if, they, if, if the participants doesn't already uh, feel the, the, the Nordic value of the Nordic cooperation, I think very many are learning from it uh, during the sessions we have at this conference. And I hope it will be brought out into the organizations as well. Um, there are uh, no questions uh, in the chat. Um, so I guess you were very clear. 
Um, but I think uh, I think um, this will uh, this will make room for discussions in the gather town afterwards, and uh, I ho hope that your your words uh, meant a lot to to the people, and that we will uh, that we will uh, use this day and tomorrow during the the presidium meeting to strengthen our cooperation. Tack. Um, det var det var ingen spörsmål i chatten så tydligtvis så var Silja väldigt klar och tydlig. Ehm men jag hoppas att att alla deltagarna tar orden med sig i diskussionen idag och snackar om om värdet av det nordiska samarbetet eh genom dagen idag både i påverkningstorg och i workshops och i måndagens presidiemöte. Då säger vi tack till Silja. Thank you Silja. We will have a break until uh, uh, quarter to uh, 11 uh, and then we'll get the information for the for the påverkningstorg. Vi tar en paus till kvart på 11 och då får vi en presentation av påverkningstorg. Tack för nå.
have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs>
Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, we hope you had time to uh, grab some coffee and uh, have a little break. My name is uh, Eirik. I am the uh, IC Wasson for, um, for the Guides and Scouts of Norway. And this is Anna. She is the IC Wags of Guides and Scouts of Norway. And together we've been heading um, the NSK, the committee for this uh, 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 triennium. So we've, uh, of course, we've had good help from Secretariat and also from all the other Nordic uh, ICs. So yeah, that, that has been uh, a really enjoyable time. Now we will um, soon commence the um, open space discussions. And uh, but before that, I'll let Anna do the Norwegian presentation. Velkommen tilbake. Vi håper alle sammen har fått uh, slappet litt, fylt opp kaffekoppen og ja, er klare for en ny økt. Uh, vi er da Eirik, som er Ise Ose for Norge, og så er jeg Ise Weiss. Man så kanskje ikke Weiss Lilja, men jeg er Weiss Sokker. Uh, jeg heter Anne. Så det er vi som har ledet NSK-samarbeidet dette siste treendiumet eh, og har hatt veldig god hjelp selvfølgelig av alle de andre ICN-ene i samarbeidet og i NSK-komiteen. Ja. Mm -mm. Så nå skal vi begynne med en litt fellesøkt hvor vi skal diskutere litt, men først skal vi ha en liten intro. Uh, we're going to start our presentation. Just give me a a uh, moment. Yes. Um, yeah, this is, um, as for Britain, this is an opportunity to, to, for you to impact the Nordic cooperation for the future. So um, this will be done through something which is called an open space forum, it can be called an open space forum in English. Um, and it is uh, yeah, basically a group discussion. We will get more into details on that. Vi skal nå ha en, uh, ha en mulighet for å påvirke det nordiske samarbeidet fremover, og skal da ha et påvirkningstorg, som vi kaller det i Norge. At vi har litt sånn ja, diskusjoner i forskjellige grupper hvor man velger litt selv hvor man vil gå. Så det er, her er det bare å utnytte muligheten til å påvirke vårt fine samarbeid. Ja, og um say a few words uh, on the setup of this uh, open space uh, discussion forum. Uh, we will all be uh, gathered in one room in gather, but uh, of course with um, sub uh, subdivisions. In this uh, room that we will uh, that you will uh, soon go to, there are eight couches or large couch groups. Um, then there are four topics to be discussed. Um, four in four in Scandinavian, four in English. The topics are the same, so therefore we have eight couches. So four topics uh, times uh, two, eight couches. So you can choose, choose for yourself whether you want to discuss in a Scandinavian language or in English. Um, then you, yeah. And um, during this discussion, you can move freely between the topics. So, so when you feel all done with one topic, you can move on to a different topic uh, whenever you like. Um, it's also good to know that there is, in the middle of the room, there's an information board which will um, uh, tell you all the topics uh, and yeah, what, what the different discussions are about so that you can um, yeah, have, a, have an overview of what's happening in the room. Um, and then a tip, uh, in these couches, uh, it might be a bit, um, they might be a bit full, so uh, we just wanted to remind you of the uh, possibility to press the G key on your keyboard, the ghost key, so that you could walk through other people, so you, that you're not stuck in the middle of a, of a couch area. Ja, vi skal da gjennomføre dette påvirkningstorget i Gather, så da vil alle være i et felles rom. Og i det rommet så er det åtte sofagrupper med forskjellige farger, så det er ganske tydelig. Uh, og i disse åtte sofaene, eller sofagruppene, så er det ett spørsmål i hver sofagruppe, men vi har valgt å ha fire spørsmål. Men så er det åtte, fordi da kan du velge om du vil diskutere på skandinavisk eller engelsk. 
så er bare fire spørsmål du kan velge mellom. Da. Og så kan du ta og gå fritt mellom de forskjellige spørsmålene eller temaene. Ettersom du føler for om det er noe som er veldig spennende, så blir du der hele tiden, eller om du er innom alle. Det kjenner du på selv. Så er det også en informasjonstavle i rommet, så hvis du trykker X når du er i rommet, så får du opp den. Der kan du også lese spørsmålene og se hvor de diskuteres da, i hvilken sofagruppe. Står det også litt på bånd, så det er mulig å, nei, ved inngangen til sofagruppene, så det er mulig å skjønne hva tema i den sofaen er. Så er det også et lite tips, for det kan bli ganske fullt inni der og kanskje litt vanskelig å komme seg ut fra sofaene. Så er det greit å huske på den muligheten man har med å trykke på G på tastaturet, så du kan bli et spøkelse, eller ghost, og gå gjennom folk da. Så da kommer du deg ut av sofagruppa, eller kan gå inn i en ny sofagruppa. Ja, the few details that Arne said that I didn't say. Um, the couches are also marked, or the couch areas are marked with the, with the, uh, with the topic of the discussion. And uh, of course you could press X when, if you want to open the information board, then, then that will hopefully show up. Moving on. Um, yeah, so these are the four topics that we will be discussing in both uh, Scandinavian languages and English. Um, yeah, there's one topic on participation in events. How can we increase the interest uh, in the NSK events? How can we make sure that we have lots of participants uh, that the events are well advertised in all the associations and so on. That's one topic. Uh, then there's one topic on the NSK events. Uh, so we have we have a set of events, but these are up for discussion in the, the action plan, Virksomhetsplan, every th three years at the conference. Uh, but um, I think we always need to uh, develop these. Should some of them be removed? Should some events be added? Uh, yeah, events should always reflect um, the need of the NSK and the Nordic countries. So this is also up for discussion. Which, which kind of events should we have in the future, or in the, at least in the coming triennium? Then there's one topic on uh, NSK collaboration. How can, we, um, yeah, how can we improve the collaboration? What, what should the Nordic collaboration be in the future? Um, should, should there be any changes? Does it work well as it is? Yeah, we, you can discuss here which, um, what are your dreams for the Nordic cooperation and collaboration. The last team, uh, theme is um, collaboration and group level. We thought that it would be good to discuss if there is anything the, the national organizations could do for, for more um, Nordic collaboration to happen on the sort of low, lower level in our organizations. So, because we, I think we all value this Nordic uh, cooperation and uh, we think it would be really good and interesting if if, if groups could also have this uh, opportunity to get some kind of yeah, more Nordic input so to speak in their guiding and scouting. Ja, så her ser dere de fire temaene vi har. Uh, hvor det første er deltagelse på arrangementer. Vi har jo av og til opplevd at det kunne vært flere deltagere, så det er litt greit å diskutere hvordan kan vi sammen jobbe for å få mer deltagelse, få mer engasjement rundt de arrangementene vi har. Eh, så er det også en som går på de arrangementene vi i dag har i virksomhetsplanen, på en måte det vi, ja, det vi har bestemt vi skal gjøre det neste trenummet. Uh, og ta en liten diskusjon på, er det noen av de som kanskje burde kuttes ut? Burde det komme noen flere? Er det noe vi mangler? Burde det være noen justeringer i noen? Er det noen som må bli tydeligere? Så en god diskusjon på det. Og det er virkelig her dere kan påvirke hva vi skal gjøre de neste tre årene. Så har vi et tema som går på NSK-samarbeidet. Hvordan kan vi få til et godt samarbeid i NSK? Uh, Sånn som at sveidersjefene har et møte hvor de møtes, er det noe annet det burde, hva burde vi gjøre sammen, hva ønsker vi å oppnå, hva, hva vi lyst til å få til sammen da, hva tror vi er positivt som vi alle kan få nytte av. Og det siste er jo, er at det er jo potensiale for at det blir noe samarbeid på gruppenivå eller kretsnivå, 
så att vi får grupperna våra kanske att göra något samman och lära av varandra eller uppleva nya ting. Det är ju fort att på det resa i Norden kan vara en av de första upplevelserna med utlandet i samband med spela. Så är det nog vi som nationella organisationer kan göra för att hjälpa till där. Ja. So, uh, yeah, quite quickly run through uh, the events that are in the action plan today. Let's say a few words of them so that you, um, I guess, if, uh, some of you know them well from before. So for some of you, they are yeah, quite uh, something new. So we'll uh, just say a few words on each of them. Um, yeah, the first event that we'll describe is called Forandringsagentene, uh, or the cha Agents of Change. Um, this is the text of today, and then this, everything is, uh, of course, up for modification, uh, amendment and discussion um, uh, at, the, at the Presidium meeting, or I'll, I'll get back to that. But uh, the description today says that this is um, uh, an event with a concrete and relevant theme, that it is uh, for, yeah, I should have said 16 to 25 is the, is the correct, uh, not 16 to 215 years. Um, 16 to uh, 25, but that is up for discussion, which what the age range should be. Um, yeah, it says right now that is, this is an event that uh, happens every year, uh, and that the aim is to create a platform for young scouts uh, in the Nordic countries to motivate and inspire them to introduce uh, the um, participants for the international uh, guide and scout movements, including camps, international scout centers, uh, etc. So this is a kind of a, for an entry point for young scouts into the Nordic Scouting and the NSK. That is uh, how this event can be viewed. So the agents of change or forandringsagentene. Ja, vi tänkte vi bara skulle gå lite igenom de arrangemangene man har idag så alla har en liten förståelse på vad vi är och vad det går i då. Den första är förandringsagentene. Uh, så det är en ja, detta är texten som står i dagens verksamhetsplan så där här är det möjlighet att ändra på allt då eller ändra det är detta vi ska diskutera. Så är det kommit in en liten skrivefeil. Eh uh, detta arrangemanget är inte för unga mellan 16 och 215, det är 16 och 25. Uh, så formålet med uh, arrangemanget är att skapa en plattform där unga spejdare kan mötas på tvärs av de nordiska länderna och kanske danna sig lite nätverk. Det ska också motivera och inspirera unga spejdare till att förnya och vidareföra spejderbevegelsen i Norden. Uh, så vill detta också vara en introduktion för deltagare till den internationella spejderbevegelsen. Och det kan vara på lägre internationella spejdercenter och ge dem uh, ja, mot till att dela deras kunskap till detta i vidare i sitt eget land. Then we have uh, the Nordic Adventure Race, which is an event that hasn't been um, uh, held yet, uh, uh, partly due to COVID and, and other things. But this is uh, yeah, an adventure race uh, uh, spanning several days with, uh, yeah, with adventure activities. It is for young people below the age of 18. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, they are... Um, organized in, in national contingents of up to 50 participants. Um, as it says, as it is now, this event is to be held once per triennium. And uh, the aim is to create a platform uh, for young scouts uh, across the Nordic countries, uh, a meeting place for cooperation and um, some kind of competition in, in um, yeah, scouting related skills. And uh, yeah, the aim is also to learn about uh, Nordic guiding and scouting and the Nordic cultures, and to offer a um, yeah Nordic adventure race that can can be something else and something more than the national um, adventure races that happen in, in some of our countries, especially in Denmark, I think. So this is a, a Danish idea, I think, in in origin. So are the Nordic adventure adventure race? Uh, so are the next arrangement? 
Dette har dessverre ikke blitt holdt enda, for det ble nytt på forrige konferanse, og så har det jo kommet et lite virus som satt litt stopper for oss. Men det er da tenkt å være et løp eller race over flere dager hvor man får oppleve mye. Så skal det være for unge under 18 år, hvor man blir del av en nasjonal kontingent på opp til 50 deltakere. Og så skal man da være i patrulje på tvers av landet, så er det virkelig mulig å bli kjent med andre. Og planen, eller sånn det står i dag, er at det skal holdes en gang per triennium, altså en treårsperiode mellom konferansene. Så formålet er jo at man skal kunne møte andre steidere på tvers av de nordiske landene. At man skal lære mer om den nordiske speidemetoden og kulturer. Og så er det også tenkt, for det er noen land som i dag har andre speideløp, eller adventure race, så at dette skal være noe annet og noe større enn det man da har på nasjonalt nivå. Vi har the Nordic Wood Badge training, et rekkel over Gilvall, as it is called in several of our Nordic countries. Uh, this is a leadership training program for leaders uh, with the, that already have the sort of basic leadership training from their own country. It is to be held once per triennium. Unfortunately, it has to have to be post postponed uh, in this triennium because of COVID-19. But uh, yeah, so the uh, the host country they decide for uh, yeah uh, a fitting number of, of participants, uh, minimum and maximum. Um, yeah, and it says that the, the, the planning team for this event should consist of members from all, uh, all the Nordic countries. And uh, that's part, part of this is also to, uh, part of the aim of this is also to develop the, 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 the course or the, the wood badge training in all the, all the Nordic countries. Um, yeah, the aim is to, um, to um, offer leadership training, which complements the national leadership training and that it should be based on uh, leadership training principles from both WAGS and WASA. Ja, det neste arrangementet er Nordisk Trekløve Gilvel, uh, som sikkert flere land har selv. Uh, men her er, ja, så da tanken er jo å ha et gjennomføre Trekløve Gilvel-kurset, hvor man har et ledel, eller lederkurs, lederutdannelse, som avholdes en gang per triennium, og hvor vertslandet selv bestemmer det som er passende antall, både minimum og maks, for at eventet skal, arrangementet skal avholdes. Og så er dette også da tenkt at ved å ta trekløve Gilvel-kurset opp på et nordisk nivå, så skal man få noe igjen for det, og lære mer av hverandre og de andre landene, få et internasjonalt preg på det, eller ja, at man lærer enda litt mer, og derfor ønsker man også at ledergruppa i kurset skal bestå av medlemmer fra alle landene i NSK. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have a, um, the Secretary General meeting and network and the uh, Chief Commissioners uh, meeting and network. So these are meetings for uh, the Secretary, Secretaries General. Uh, and uh, the, the chief commissioners in the, in the Nordic countries. Um, I think uh, it says here that the Secretary's General meeting should be an annual meeting, but this is um, more or less up to the Secretary's General themselves to, to decide. Uh, but the aim is, of course, to create a platform for, for um, uh, the exchange of experiences and to make a network for the Secretary's General in the Nordic countries. And regarding the chief commissioners meeting, it says that it should be, uh, if possible, it should be held together with the uh, annual NSK meeting uh, in September each year. And that the aim is to create a platform for, uh, yeah, more or less the same, a platform for, for uh, the exchange of experiences and, and to make a network with the chief commissioners. Uh, and of course, it's, yeah, the value is that we have a lot of similarities in the Nordic countries and, and that this this could be uh, yeah, fruitful for all the Nordic countries to meet, meet, meet each other and uh, discuss uh, current uh, operations of our, our organizations. 
Ja, så är er det satt upp att man ska ha generalsekreterarmöte och nätverk och det samma för spejderschefer. Så ett spejderschefsmöte och nätverk. Dessa är er ju ganska lika så jag tar det lite samman, men tanken är er då att man har ett årligt möte enten för generalsekreterare i de nordiska spejderförbunden eller då att chefen mötes på ett årligt möte. Og och formålet är er ju att man ska skapa en felles plattform att man ska kunna diskutera lika eh lika utmaningar eller problemställningar man har i de nordiska länderna och vi är er ju ganska lika som kanske flera har upplevt att det har varit väldigt nyttigt på den konferensen och snacka lite konferensen och snacka lite samman och höra lite vad andra gör och tänker så att det är er väldigt käckt kunna ha ett nätverk för detta vår shoppa centrala personer kan mötas och snackas då. And there is an event called NOFUS, uh, the Nordic Forum for the Development of um, uh, Guiding and Scouting, which is, uh, yeah, what it says, a forum for the for this development. Um, and it says that the event has uh, concentrates on one concrete and relevant topic that is chosen based on, yeah, um, relevance, the relevance at, at, at the time. Um, yeah, it is to be held once per triennium. And the aim is to inspire and uh, to build capacity for for um, the the organizations of, of of the NSK, and also to establish a network for for the exchange of experiences between, um, yeah, uh, people working with um, program development, uh, leadership leadership of, of volunteers, could also be leader training uh, and so on. And the aim is that all the NSK countries are contributing um with uh, yeah around 30 to 50 participants in in total for this event. Så er det Nordisk forum for utveckling av spejderarbete eller NOFUS. Eh detta är er tänkt som uh, ett arrangemang hvor man kan diskutera lite konkreta relevanta teman som är er med på att utveckla spejderarbete och den hålls en gång per triennium. Och formålet är er att man ska inspirera och uh, utveckla förbunden och korps. Och det är er då en samling av centrala personer i olika eller i förbunden och korpsarna som kan för exempel vara de som har med programutveckling göra, ledelse av frivilliga eller liknande. There is uh, Go Global. Uh, this is also an event for young people in our uh, organizations between the age of 18 and 30. Um, this is uh, an event that we have been discussing a bit in in the um, in the committee in the NSK um, because yeah we, we're working on how to differentiate it a bit more from from the first one the, the change, agents of change. So but but right now it says that this is a networking event to be held once per triennium. And um, that the aim is to yeah, create networks between young young uh, people in our associations with um, an international uh, an inter- interest in international guiding and scouting, and uh, yeah, that it should uh, increase their um, knowledge of the international guide and scout movement, that it should inspire them to um, to take on new uh, challenges on the international arena, and to yeah and capacity building of, of young people. Uh, for for such such kind of, of uh, yeah, topics and, and tasks. Så har vi Go Global som är er ett uh, arrangemang. Uh, detta är er ett arrangemang som är er lite uppe för diskussion och som vi I NSK två iser från vart land har diskuterat en del. För det är er, uh, vi önskar att försöka skilja det tydligare från det första arrangemanget förändringsagenterna. Uh, men det där er idag är er på något att man ska skapa ett öppet nätverk för unga som önskar engagera sig i den globala spejderverlden. Uh, det är er tänkt att det ska hållas en gång per triennium i dagens form. Uh, ja. Ja. 
att slå på det för mig. Men ja, i vart fall det är ett arrangemang vi gärna vill det ska diskutera då. Yes. That were uh, those were all the um, events that we have in the plan today. We are open for new events. We're open for open for um, removing events if they're not if we feel that they're not really relevant anymore, and so on. So uh, here everything can be done. Of course, we've had our initial discussions in the committee, but now we also want to include all the all of you the representatives here at the Nordic Guidance Scout Conference in the discussion. So, how can you propose amendments for 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 uh, these uh, documents? Uh, first of all, I want to say that um, what we are will be talking about those of us who are going to the presidium meeting. Uh, that's mainly two documents. It's it's one called the basis for basic for basis for cooperation, or summer basis and the other one is the action plan. The the first one regulates the Nordic cooperation in general, whereas the other one uh, is our plan for the for the coming triennium. Uh, until the next Nordic Guidance Scout Conference. Uh, amendments can pre be proposed for both of these documents, um, but we ask that you discuss uh, such proposals in your delegations. So um, it's not really a, a single persons here at the conference who, who submit uh, 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 amendments, but uh, it's delegations or at least at least associations that submit, uh, submit these proposals. So if you have something, uh, I, we suggest that you go discuss it with um, the rest of your delegation and, and your IC, and it, is, uh, yeah, it should be submitted by the IC uh, to us. And the deadline for such um, proposed amendments, it is at 7 um, p.m. tonight, 7 Norwegian time. Yeah. Uh, så är ju alla disse som vi har sagt uppe så vi kan diskutera det och justera det. Så där man gärna komma med förslag och som sagt väldigt gärna i diskussionen nå, men så kan man också föreslå ändringar i dokumenten för att få det in på presidiemöte. Eh och då är det samarbetsgrundlaget. Det har vi inte gått så mycket igenom nå. Och så är det också verksamhetsplanen som vi har gått mer igenom. Så för att föreslå ändringar på disse två dokumenten så tar det gärna en diskussion i delegationen eller förbundet deras. Och så är det ICN i vart förbund som kan komma med en officiell ändringsförslag. så ta en diskussion med ICN om det tänker där något som bör ändras. Tidsfristen för att komma med ändring är klockan 7 i kveld norsk tid, uh, så det er litt etter vi er ferdige med programmet, men før opplegget i kveld, så da har dere tid til å diskutere og endre litt hvis dere vil det. Yep. Ja, um, should, it should also be mentioned that um, um, yeah, both of these documents are to be found uh, on the website of NSK. Dere finner begge både samarbeidsgrunnlaget og virksomhetsplanen på nsk21.scout.no. So a little um, practic, uh, bit of practic, practical information, how this language changes, a bit of practical information uh, when you enter the discussion room. As we said, there is an information board and you need to pre press X to, to open it. <coughs> and it can take some time, a bit of time, or a few seconds before it opens. So just be a bit patient after you've pressed X and then it should, should show up. Um, yeah. Da kan jeg ta det, uh, siste er Erik sa. Så uh, bare litt praktisk info. Vi sa jo i sted at inne i rommet så er det en sånn info-tavle. Så hvis du trykker X når du står inne i rommet, du kan stå hvor som helst i rommet og gjøre det. Men det er litt treikt, så du må trykke X, og så må du vente litt. Så skal det komme, og da får du opp, som sagt, de spørsmålene som er tenkt å diskutere og hvor du finner dem på engelsk, engelsk eller skandinavisk. Right, that was, uh, I think, more than enough from uh, Anna and I. So now we will very soon start the actual discussions. And the room itself, you can find by going to the right part of, of the plenary hall. So if you go to one of the um, entrances in the right part of, of the, the plenary hall, that uh, I guess most of you are in now, 
you will find the entrance to the to the discussion room. Jag har väl Erik och jag sagt nog och mer än nog. så då börjar vi med diskussionerna. Så det finner detta rum med soffan där. Vi ska gå till höger i plenumsalen. Den säkert flest parten sitter i nå. Så bara gå i en av de öppningarna du ser på höger vägg så kommer du in till alla soffan. Just uh, wanted to say also that all the all the discussions are moderated. There is one moderator per discussion. Så det är en moderator och som som ja, styr diskussionen och som har lite Ja, frågor att ställa och ting att snacka med någon där. Uh, ja, good luck with uh, all the discussions. Uh, lycka till alla samman. Så hoppar vi på många goda diskussioner. A lot of good discussions is what we're hoping for. Thank you very much from Anna and I.